Hey everybody, it's Meredith. Welcome to my new workspace. It is totally not set up yet, but I'm getting this whole area of my apartment now set up to be the next level of my work. Up until now, I've been working sitting down on the floor at this little table and just ordered some new furniture for the office. It was supposed to be here today. Mercury's retrograde that got totally messed up. Hopefully they're coming tomorrow. I just worked that out with them. I wanted to bring you this message. I'm going to try to work this in between my clients today because today is the eclipse. Actually, it happened last night into today, but really this whole like 24 to 48 hours really still moving on this energy. And I wanted to get this message out so that you can utilize this time to your benefit. So what just happened right now was like a reality check. You might have been tuning into this since like the last several weeks because sometimes eclipses you can start to feel like six weeks in advance um, maybe even months in advance but really this the six weeks in advance for me I started knowing, noticing this a lot more intensely in the last week or two um, for me it came in a lot of boundary issues that was what I was working through um, and you know you might be noticing whatever is coming up for you and mercury is retrograde so the focus is on the thoughts and reevaluating your thoughts so my question to you today is you know, Virgo, we're in Virgo right now, the sun's in Virgo, the solar eclipse was in Virgo, a bunch of planets and the north node are in Virgo, like everything is pointing towards organization, efficiency, productivity, work, service, these sorts of themes, healing, purity. And, you know, because the Mercury moving into this and the Mercury is, is retrograde, it's a really great time to look at where you're not being efficient in your thought processes. Like, where are you being counterproductive? Where are you wasting energy on those repetitive thoughts that you just keep happening, happening to have over and over and over again? Like, you just can't get out of that and they're just like haunting your mind and then like, you know how it goes, like the one thought comes by and then you hook onto that and then you just go down that and it's like this downward spiral, right? Because like once the thoughts go, then the emotions get aroused and then like you're going down this downward spiral. If you're still thinking about the past, you know, and all that, that, those things that you just keep ruminating on this is a great time to dump that shit <laughs> like flush it down the toilet that's what this is you know this eclipse that came through is like a reality check for us so there was like this sudden like you know facing of like okay this is reality and you know then next to that is like the fantasy that you had you know the illusion that you had what you hoped it was going to be or what you hoped it was or what would come and that's not what's going on right now like at some point in the last like 24 hours you're probably having this realization to some degree. So, got to take a real honest look at what reality is. Like, what is right in front of you right now? What is your reality? Is it what you want it to be? And if it's not, what do you need to get rid of? You know, where in your life are things sucking your time away? Things sucking your energy away? Things sucking away your clarity of mind, your physical health, your sanity, all of that. So, you know, if you can just write down a list of maybe one to three things that you can just dump right now like vow that starting tomorrow you're gonna write these down tonight and starting tomorrow you're no longer gonna do these things and every time you catch your mind going down that path you're gonna stop yourself and you're gonna reprogram that with something new right because right now the choice is like you know either we go to the past patterns and things that never worked out and keep reliving that suffering and that struggle or do we pick something new and now is the time to pick something new every Thing is moving towards the north node that's the new direction the new opening it's like the cosmic portal the heaven gates it's opening neptune is aligned with this like today you're probably getting some really strong message about this so listen to your intuition figure out where in your life you're being counterproductive where you're wasting energy where you could get a little more organized that's what i'm doing right here i'm creating my office right now i'm going to get super organized in here and really awesome stuff is going to come out of here it's going to be a lot easier to shoot videos because I'm just always going to have stuff up and there's not going to be like a takedown and put together and all this time involved and I have this like six foot whiteboard that I just got installed last week so that's going to be fantastic. I'm going to create some new training programs in here. 
I'm gonna be doing my sauna Q&A's in here from now on. By the way, in case you didn't see my announcement during sauna this week, this coming Monday the 5th is Labor Day here in USA and that's a holiday for us. I'm gonna take the day off to give myself some time and I will be back the following Monday for sauna Q&A's, which is Monday the 12th, I think. So utilize this time right now. This month of September is just like packed full of transformational energy. Like if you want to serve these cosmic waves, you know, take advantage of this because you, you have the opportunity right now to upgrade your life in a way that you probably won't have the rest of your lifetime. Like there's a lot of really awesome alignments taking place. The next really big one is on the 9th. But so we just came through this eclipse, you know, we're still riding on this energy on this surf. So you can still get on this, you know, and get rid of that stuff in your life that's holding you down, that's sucking away your your time and your energy and distracting you from what you really want dump that old fantasy that you had that thing from the past that's just not working out and re-innovate that into some sort of way like create something new out of that or notice what's showing up for you right now and like maybe that was a habit that you want to have a new habit that's something you can design right now because Virgo is also health so if you're not taking care of your health it's quite possible that you're gonna see a health crisis in the next like month or so so you really want to check that out and do an inventory like where are you not being efficient enough taking care of your health where are you being counterproductive like what are the things you're doing that are sabotaging your health or the idea of health that you actually want to have in your life so use this time to get rid of that stuff that's not working, to choose a new path. Don't go back to the old path. We're leaving that stuff behind. We're stepping into new territory. Jupiter is moving signs on the 9th. That's going to be awesome. And that's going to bring some changes too. Um, yeah, and just, you know, don't try to escape it. Like, whatever you're facing right now in reality, because that's the Virgo thing, we're facing our day-to-day -day reality, right? So whatever you're facing in your reality that you don't like because it doesn't feel good, right? Because that's when you know you're in a good place is when things feel good. If it doesn't feel good, there's something there that you don't like, something's gotta change. So empower yourself and ask yourself, what's one thing that you can do starting tomorrow to change that, to start changing that? So you don't feel like that every day Anymore. and you know this is it's not a time to escape things it's not a time to go drown it out you know with some kind of distraction or addiction like it's really time to take a good cold look at reality get really honest and really clear remember self honesty is the start to self love you can't love yourself if you're not honest with yourself and this is a great time to get honest with yourself seeing the reality for what it is not escaping it not choosing that comfortable familiar destructive old pattern that led you down the path of suffering and struggle because this is a new reality that you have the chance to create for yourself right now and moving forward so catch this wave utilize this energy to help you yourself out get rid of that stuff that's bogging you down because you deserve to have the life that you desire you deserve to live the daily reality that feels good to you so i'm sending you all a big hug and i will see you soon